Ah, look, here's a new article, indeed a randomized trial regarding treatment of borderline personality disorder. Is there a new option? Perhaps, but you'll want to see the details. Hi, Jim Phelps here for the Psychopharmacology Institute. Let's begin by reminding ourselves of the treatments which have recognized efficacy for people with borderlinity, my preferred term there in preference to the still somewhat pejorative and dangerously categorical yes or no borderline personality disorder. Some of you may remember the 2006 randomized trial of dialectic behavior therapy led by Marsha Linehan. There was a watershed moment. Finally, there was a reason to invoke the label of borderline personality disorder. It became a required ticket to receive the only treatment with randomized trial evidence for efficacy. And by now, there are actually at least three psychotherapies with such evidence. But there aren't enough therapists with specialty training, and even fewer who are willing to make borderlinity their main practice focus. So in an important review, the experienced borderline researcher John Gunderson demonstrated that therapists with no specific training in these techniques can achieve results not far short of the specialized therapies. He concludes that mental health professionals, especially psychiatrists, should, quote, embrace the challenges that these patients undeniably pose. Only by doing this can the mental health professions begin to address the public health needs of these patients, close quote. According to his review, the psychiatrist or psychiatric nurse practitioner or psychotherapist establishes a treatment relationship just as they do for other patients, but adds support from colleagues and increased attention to safety planning and clear treatment goals. And think about it, if we had a medication that was clearly superior to placebo, we could enter that treatment relationship with even more to offer. So here's a new randomized trial of Brick's pip resolve for borderline personality disorder. The first step in evaluating a new randomized trial, is there a pharmaceutical company behind this? Only somewhat. The investigators initiated this study, not a pharmaceutical company, and they don't seem to have major financial or other connections to the company other than research grants to the lead author. Next, is the study large enough? Well, recruiting a group of 80 patients with this diagnosis and getting 70% of them all the way through an eight-week trial, that's an achievement unto itself. And the results? Well, it's a bit odd, as the authors are first to point out. There was no separation between Brex, Piprazole, and placebo until the last week. In the first two weeks, there was a huge drop in borderlinity rating scores using the well-established Zanarini scale but that drop was almost identical in the placebo group. So one of the reasons why Brex-Piprazole did not demonstrate superiority is because placebo worked so well until the last week when a five-point difference emerges. That's one-third of the patient's starting scores on the Zanarini scale. The authors offer several thoughtful explanations for this last week difference, but overall seem to be suggesting that it's more likely to be an artifact of the trial design than a brex piprazole effect suddenly emerging at week eight. One of their interesting speculations, perhaps brex piprazole helped diminish rejection sensitivity right there at the end of the trial when participants knew it was their last visit. Notably, side effects were the reverse of what you might expect. 50% of the placebo group reported a presumably medication-related problem like nausea, fatigue, or restlessness versus only 25% of the brex piprazole group. The p-value for that difference is 0.03. Something's going on there? Not clear what it is, though. The author's conclusion won't surprise you. They suggest further study with a larger sample and a longer trial. But importantly, for more on this subject, if you have access to the American Journal of Psychiatry archives and you haven't seen that Gunderson review, it's a very important position statement for our field.